Hey guys, so this will be a video on how I made my custom designed canvas bags. So I will open one for you and I'll show you what they ended up looking like. So they came nicely packaged like this. Um, this is basically what it looks like opened up. This is 15 inches by 15 inches. It's a 100% cotton bag. I had it made from a supplier, an Alibaba. Dot com and I'll show you how I found my supplier and how I designed the bag and how I package it to be mailed. Okay, so first uh, we go to www.alibaba.com. Um, if you watched my washi tape video, this is uh, going to be a bit repetitive. Um, but so first you want to set to suppliers because you don't want finished products um, to sell. You want suppliers who can make products for you and um, then I search for canvas bag and you can see there's so many suppliers that show up there's about uh, 5,000 um, so you want to check trade assurance and verified so this will narrow down your search so it cuts the suppliers in about half uh, this just makes sure that you're buying from a reputable supplier and that your shipment's going to get protected um, if it gets lost then you want to look at the supplier index which are these diamonds so they're out of five so the higher the supplier index um, basically the better the per overall performances of that company uh, so I try to uh, find companies with at least three diamonds. Now you also want to look for a company that's been in the business on the longer side, which means that their ratings and whatnot are more accurate. Like this one is five stars, um, 12 years. But a lot of these companies that have been around longer will have very high MOQs, which are minimum order quantities. So sometimes they'll need you to order at least a thousand bags, which is a lot. So I wanted to look for a company that um, had a minimum of a hundred because that's how many bags I wanted to order just to try it out first. So um, whichever ones that interest you, um, you just click them, it'll open in a new tab and um, just open, you know, a couple that you think might be a good fit now if you are printing cartoon designs on the bag you want to look for companies that have kind of cartoonish designs so you can see how good their colors look and, and how uh, clear the images are because um, a lot of these just print simple designs or logos um, so most of these places um, they honestly cost around the same for the bag um, but the quality and the shipping cost is what might sway your decision um, because so I had it shipped to North America so it's quite cost you usually end up paying more for the shipping than you do the actual product sometimes so I suggest sending messages to every um, supplier that you're interested in so um, these are the ones that I opened uh, first. You can see their MOQ, their minimum order, a thousand pieces. That's a lot. So we don't want that. This one is 50 pieces, so we can message uh, these people. And I will show you what I write to them. So I'll paste this down in the description if you want to use it too. Um, so it just says, hello there. I was interested in your custom design canvas bags. I was wondering if you could give me a quote, including shipping. So uh, this I found is a pretty standard size. Um, quantity, I wanted 100. And destination, I wanted Toronto, Canada. Some other questions you can ask are, um, I was wondering if I can get a progress photo to make sure the colors are right before um, it goes to mass production. You can also ask for some videos and photos of other colorful like cartoon canvas bags that they've printed before. Um, and you can also ask how long the lead or processing time will be and how long shipping will take. You can also ask if shipping is by air or sea sea is usually a lot cheaper however it takes forever or it takes a long time to get to north america at least in terms of canvas bag material um i got a bag that was 100 percent cotton the 100 percent cotton bags are a bit more expensive um and so this is what i ordered you can tell the material is a bit more delicate and thinner and not as rough as some of the blended bags or polyester bags um, you can also ask what type of process they used to transfer the image. So mine's very smooth, you can see here. It was done with hot stamping, they told me. So the image is very uh, sharp and clear. Um, when you run your hands over it, it's very smooth. It looks like they transferred another material onto the bag. Other methods are different. Um, there are ones that leave the image a little bit grainier, um, where they put the ink directly on the bag.
So this is uh, the company I used. They've been in the business for four years, but they have a very high supplier index. I really liked how my canvas bag turned out, um, but I can't guarantee that the price or the quality is still the same. I ordered mine about a year ago, um, but this is the company I used and I would um, definitely use them again. So as for the design, I don't really have much to say about it because there's not many requirements. Uh, just make sure it's at least 300 DPI in resolution. They'll position it on a prototype bag for you like you can see here to confirm the position and the size of the image. Um, they shouldn't charge more or less depending on how big you want the design. Once you're happy with the design, you just confirm it with them, you send it over to them, and again, just be sure to ask for progress photos before they mass produce the bag to make sure you're happy with the colors and the size. So I received my bags nicely packaged already. You can ask them if they will package it for you. Um, I also uh, messaged my supplier to ask how to take care of the bags so um, that the image won't fade or anything like that. So uh, he told me and then so I made these little cards to include in the bags themselves. So I just peel this open and then put this inside and I seal it back up. And I usually mail these out in poly mailer bags. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, thank you for watching.